bullion delivery is underway. I'll take a look at this. Give one of the clients some prospector vintage rounds. Got these for a good price and wanted to make sure that they felt important. And so we thought we'd bring them something pretty cool. We didn't pay a whole lot for these from a dealer. So definitely going to add some, some value to uh, their stack for sure. A little update on the fitness journey here. 30 grams of protein, 410 calories, uh, a lot of vitamins in here. So most of the time, if I eat this, I'm going to be just prioritizing protein. So eating chicken or something that has, you know, it's pretty lean. So definitely uh, something that, you know, takes a craving out if you're wanting, uh, you know, a chocolate bar or something like that. So this has been a big help. So guys, disregard the dishwasher sound. We are living in a home. And, but we're selling coins, okay? This is everything we sold in the past two days. Two days, okay? This is our inventory, right here. See this? Hand over here, Casey. This is our inventory. This is everything we have. We don't have any coins to sell, okay? Just think about it, you know, in terms of days to buying coins. So we showed you like in a few videos, oh, we got three new coins today, or two new coins today, or one new coin today. Look. You know, so if you guys need to sell some coins, my personal cell phone number, 832-538-4122. I need to buy some coins. We have customers that want coins. We just aren't finding any. So happy to buy some coins, talk to you guys on the phone, whatever you need. But uh, very happy that you guys bought some nice coins on our website, acousticcollectibles.com. We'll be uploading new ones every day. So make sure to keep checking out the website. So, just came back from a workout, and once again, updating you on what I'm eating to kind of maintain muscle, lose fat. This is a whole tub of Greek yogurt. Uh, I have an apple, honey in there, about a, a teaspoon or a tablespoon, I don't even know what it is, and uh, some vanilla wafers. And so, I think this is about 100 grams of protein. I already had almost 100 today, so trying to get close to matching my body weight. And uh, yeah, so. It's keeping me, uh, my brain active. If you don't have a healthy body, you don't have a healthy business. So we're working on that. Casey just ate avocado and now he's gonna be eating some carbs because you gotta replenish those after a workout. So I got this fancy black tray out for you because I wanna show you one of the coins we sold. 1928 piece dollar, almost blast white. Luster's phenomenal. Just a little baggy, you know? Old uh, 2.1 or 2.2 gen. I don't know which one it is because I'm so caught up on my holders. CC approved. I mean, whoo, phenomenal. Someone had to pay a premium for this sucker, but the holder, the CAC, the luster, most of the times when you're buying coins like barbers or peace dollars, people are looking for coins that are nice and eye appeal. And so this one was nice and eye appeal and someone paid the price for it. All right, guys, next day, all packages are laid out. Got everything wrapped up, all in its nice, you know, cushiony little package. What we do now, our next step, which kind of keeps us a little bit more insulated, is that we check every address. Uh, when I first started shipping coins out, I messed up on a few of them. And ever since then, it's been a process of ours to go back either on eBay or on our website, double check the address you guys put in so that every coin gets to where it needs to be. And um, yeah, so Casey reads off the addresses. I pull them up on the computer. So it's a good double check. Another thing I want to talk to you guys about is some paper that we got back recently and some new purchases. Um, so we had two personal collection pieces that we sent in and uh, we'll show you those in a minute. But first I want to show you this Black Eagle. It's the $18.99 Black Eagle. It's great. Unc 64 by PCGS Banknote. The black is really profound on the detail. I mean, I showed this at the TNA show. A few dealers were pretty excited about it. And, uh, you know, an affordable, uncirculated Black Eagle note um, with all the bells and whistles. I like it. Most of the time when you're finding like such a profound note, I mean, paying 700 bucks for it's not too bad. Uh, I think paper is just something that's really cool about our hobby that we're still learning a little bit about. Next note I want to show you is this Houston uh, $5 National. So I ended up buying this in a collection and Houston Nationals don't pop up too often. And so uh, we wanted to send this in, get it graded. It came back 35, which is nice. 
Uh, definitely going to be something we keep just because we're out of the Houston area. And, uh, yeah, I mean, signed by the cashier and the president of the bank. You can see um, right down here, just a cool piece of history. Well, let me show you one more uh, note that we sent in. So just an average 2017 $20 bill. This one, though, its serial number is uh, 1776. So there actually are collectors out there for these notes. Um, we bought this at the fun show, I think, almost two years ago from a guy. We spent like 250 bucks on it because we thought it was so cool. And I guess there's collectors out there now for them. So, um, you know, something I, I, I'm pretty passionate about and Casey likes too. But this is something we're going to keep in our personal collection. Just wanted to show you guys because uh, we've got to keep you guys, in, you know, coming along with our journey. So we just got home, guys. And it's the next day. Drinking morning coffee here. But got six new purchases that are posting on the website, acousticcollectibles.com. We're going to show you them right now, tell you why we like them. Sometimes we don't like them. We're going to tell you why also. Uh, I wanted to say something else, something that pertains to business. Um, it's kind of like a quote that I heard a few times. Um, it's like, don't debate a fool because they'll bring you down to their level and beat you with their intelligence. And... Sometimes, like in every business, like in every job, uh, there's people that contact you that say things they shouldn't or do things they shouldn't. And it's really an opportunity rather than it is, um, you know, rather than it is tough, it's an opportunity to develop yourself and also develop the business in a way where you can respond appropriately. And so, uh, you know, there's people that, that reached out to me yesterday and there's people that reached out to me last week, they say stuff that is just inappropriate and there's things that aren't true. And so I just, I tell them everything that is correct and honest and truthful. And when they respond back with things that are childish and things that really have no way to build any core relationships within the coin business, or even if it's in your personal life, sometimes the best response is to not say anything at all because it's just not worth it. It's just not worth getting in the mud with people that, uh, that don't look to better themselves. And so it's kind of just an interesting thought that I wanted to share with you guys. And so let's share with you these six new purchases. Starting out at the top here with this 1893 Colombian half. I bought this because it was mainly white, mostly white. It is off-white, it has a little kind of haziness to the coin, but that's okay. Like I said, sometimes uh, when we buy coins with a lot of toning on it or it's kind of unattractive, most of the time that coin sits around. I felt this coin had enough luster, enough eye appeal to buy. Here's this 1853 seated half. It has arrows, as you can see. This one's a little bit tougher to see just because of the holder, but it is a nice early type coin. A lot of detail to the coin. Um, I've been ha having trouble with seated halves that are lower grade, that are raw. But when I get in the AU or XF territory that look a little bit nicer and original, I do have um, just some clients that come through and pick these up. Two Washington Quarters that we picked up. This is a, a 52S that we're going to be selling at Gray Sheet. It has kind of two distracting spots on both sides. One on the head here and one on the Eagle's wing. Nice luster though. 51S. This one's... Great Mint State 67, holder's a little scuffed up, but it is CAC approved. It's got, I think it's, you know, that that uh, that toning from an album or a board, something like that. It gave it that kind of a little bit of darkness on the back, a little bit of smudginess in my opinion. Two nice Liberty V nickels. This one's a DL, a DL Hansen collection. You can see that there's a few light scratches right behind the head and a few right underneath the chin. And so this coin actually sold in 2017 for 700 bucks. And I think we we're offering it like for 600 or 650. So, you know, five years have gone by and it is a cool little pedigree. And so I wanted to pass those savings on to you guys. And this key date 12D Liberty V nickel. Uh, most of the time collectors are trying to figure out the 12D or and then the 12S at the end. And so this one has some nice luster to it, a little suppressed with some toning. Um, it is fully struck, as you can see by the corn. 
right there, the corn's fully struck right underneath the V. There is a little bit of a spot in E Pluribus Unum right at the end there, but definitely a nice coin overall. Thank you guys for taking a look at our new purchases. We appreciate you guys watching today's video. I want to show one more thing before we end it. This is Steve Tompkins' uh, Die Marriage book. It's for early halves, and so we picked this up recently because we want to learn more about die marriages. Some are more rare than others, and that ends up adding sometimes a lot of money to a coin. And so shout out to Steve Tompkins. We bought this directly from him. Awesome book, definitely detailed. and has a lot of things that we're learning as we go. I would definitely recommend buying this book. Uh, if you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure to leave a like, comment your thoughts on what we had to say, experiences we had, uh, subscribe if you're new, and we will see you guys next time. We're going to be showing off a really high-end CAC submission that we did pretty well on.